everybody. This is Artisan Loom here with another original design of mine. It is a slight variation to my Lily Strand bracelet, um, but it's 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 a little bit different. I use different beads, obviously, and um, and it has a tighter wrap. And the amount of strand bands is a little different. This one's a, looks a little bit. The other one is a little bit more delicate, whereas this one is just. It just lays nice. So, um, I got this one a little too tight. I'll have to loosen that up a bit. But anyhow, I'm going to attempt to show you how to make this design right here with different type beads. You can use just about any bead that you want. Basically, what we're doing, I've already tied it in a knot. Okay, let me show you what you're going to start with. You're going to start off with... Um, three strand bands that are all together that you've ripped in half because when you start off with a, a, a strand band it comes with six bands so you want to split it to make three and then you want to pick another color or you could use the same color whatever of a single strand and then what you do is you put them together I'll just show you because I've already made the knot but you put them together and then you find the center, say, say, say this was the end of the bracelet or end of the strand band. You would put them together and this right here would be where you would tie the knot. Okay? But I've already done it. I've put them together. I've put them together and um, I've got them somewhat the same length. They may be off by just a smidge, but we can snip that. Not a big deal. And uh, that's what I have. I have should have th two of these uh, three strands and then two of the single okay once you get it all together okay so this is your strand band styler mine does wants to move around and, and come up I don't know what the problem is I don't know if it's just too dirty or just not wanting to stick properly I don't know so I have a little time with that Okay, now I now I got it to stay. It still wants to slide, but it won't come up. So I guess we're okay. So I'm going to take this and let's see here. Let me just see how I want to place this on there because I want to, I want these two um, navy blue because that's what I'm using navy blue and then the baby pink. So I kind of want them to be over to the side. So I'm going to do like this. However you have to do it, you're going to want these two in the center. Just like that. So I'm going to take this and put it on these teeth. You see the teeth right there? You just put it on the teeth. Okay, and that'll hold it in place. Okay, these two I'm just going to hold out to the side for now. And these two are the ones that... Um, we can just, it's hard to do on film, do like that. Okay, so you got these two, which are three strand bands each, and then two single ones here. Okay, now you just need to pick your bead. Okay, and um, not only pick your bead, but get you a nice threader, whatever will work for the beads. I use the... Um, I use, when I buy beads, there's a little nylon thread, which is this, that has all the beads on. And so when I take cut them off, I just keep the nylon thread and fold it in half, and then I have a nice threader. That's what I do. Okay. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I'm going to go ahead and use the 6-0 seed beads. And I'm going to use my threader. And basically, um, I'm going to start with I guess we could start with the seed beads It'd probably be good okay and since I wanted to do baby pink but it's not working for me because I don't have enough so I think what I'm going to use are these beads that look like kind of looks like glass it's real pretty I think we're going to use these ones okay and so I just wish I would use a color so it wouldn't be so boring. 
because what I'm going to do, you know what, maybe I could use pink and white. Okay, because I'm because you're gonna want to put you're gonna wanna put two beads, two beads there. Okay, so maybe I would do one pink and one. Okay, that's what I'll do. Huh. See, I don't even know what I'm doing. Basically, um, and actually these 60 seed beads might be big enough to where you won't need the threader. So I guess what we could do is I'm gonna use the the glass looking seed bead 60 and just put yeah see you don't even need it and just put this through okay just like that and I'm gonna take a pink one now well okay so a white one I'll just call it the glass one and then a pink one okay with this one you're gonna do the same thing with this other strand so we'll do the glass one first. Okay. And then we'll do the pink one. Just like that. Okay. So now we have we have these. We have it looking like these. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna hold these two together, okay? We're gonna hold these two together, and I'm gonna put one bead in the center, and that's gonna be where I have um, this little spiky type bead, a spacer bead, but I'm gonna use this glittery um, bead. Let's just see what this looks like. For this one, I'm probably going to need to use my threader, so this is the very end. I'm going to just put it between both my um, and my threader just like this. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm going to take the other half and I'm going to put both of these threader through. And then I'm going to pull it through. Okay. Luckily the hole was plenty big. And then I'm just going to pull it together. Okay. I want to kind of keep it from getting too screwed up. And then you just slide it up, make sure it's even on both ends, on both sides. Okay, now let me just see what we got going on here because this side, I need to make sure that it goes all the way to the top. Okay, so just like that. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Put it like this back in here back in there okay and then I'm going to take the ends of I'm going to take this side I guess it doesn't matter whichever side and I'm going to just kind of rub it so that I know it's and then flip it so that I know when I put it through here it's gonna not be all twisted so I'm going to put it through the middle Point it that direction, just like this. And, oops, I want to get it from underneath. I want to grab it. Okay? And that's going to be, you want to make sure your beads are nice and tight together. And that's going to be the start of it. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Put it through, just like that. And then, there we go. That's our first one, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up again. Well, you can lift it up or you could leave it until you get your stuff threaded. So either way, I'm going to do the glass bead. And then just like that. And then I'm going to do the pink bead. Okay. I'm just going to leave it sit there a minute. Glass bead. I hope I don't run out of these pink ones. And then a pink one. I think we'll be all right because we're not going to make as many. This is a, a much larger bead here, this sparkly one. Okay, so see how we have both of these? 
right there. You can just lift this up on both sides and then slide them forward. Okay. And now we need to put these together. So I'm going to go here and grab the end. Use my threader. Put it together. And then I'm going to put another, let me find the bead, another spacer bead through the center. Pull it through. Okay, and there we go. And then I'm going to just pull this up. Now, you see how this is wanting to go up above? The spacer, it's okay. It's because your beads have slid down. They're not super tight. What's going to make it a little tighter is this bead. So um, now that we have this, we'll just slide it up. You can pull on each end if you want. Um, I'm going to pull these down a little bit. I think that's what I'm going to do. Pull these down to where both of the seed beads are below. Okay. You know what would help too? What I noticed I did with my last one is I used a cup or something or a mug, something heavier, and I'll just hold it there so that it keeps it in place. Get another one and hold it there. That way this stays nice and tight. Okay, just like that. You see how that's staying nice and tight? I don't know if you can see, which I guess I might could zoom in a bit just to better show you. Okay, so that's nice and tight now. Now I can push my beads up, my seed beads and that one, okay? So I have that one and now I could put these back on the little, um, stretch them out and place them back on these uh, little grippers here. Okay, there you go. Now, since this is nice and tight and these beads are below that, and you can always, if you find them slipping down, just push them back up. Okay, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this off, and I want to keep it to where it's nice and flat, and rub my fingers through till I get to the very end, and then I'm going to flip it over like this, that way I know that this is not going to be twisted, put it through the center, press it over just like this, and I want it to pull it from up underneath just like this. Okay, this is very similar to my lily strand, except for I think I used the longer beads in the center. And then you're just gonna go like this. And then I left this out a little bit more to where it made it look a little more delicate. So it's very similar, but I'm still gonna call it my own des uh, a new design because, um, or a variation of my lily strand. I'm just gonna call it the tiara because it's a little more um, tighter and it kind of looks like a tiara. And the name credit goes to AZMS Mom because she liked that name and so did I. But there we go, just like that. Okay, and this will hold it nice and tight to keep that all in, in line. And then you'll do the same thing. Okay, you'll come here. Grab this end. We're going to grab, hold on, let me grab some more beads real quick. Okay. The glass bead. Just string it through. It works fine. It goes through just great. And then the pink one. Okay, and I'm just going to leave it sit there. Grab this one, do the same thing. 
glass one and then the pink one I just think these strand bands are they're a lot of fun um, there's so many things you can do with them I thought I created a whole new design but it's really just a variation of my lily strand um, tighter version of it um, but I love it okay so so now I have these just like this so I'm going to um, you know what you could do? You could just leave it just like this and then grab the ends before we even slide any of the beads up. Just um, put the ends together, grab your threader, and then go ahead and thread that big spacer bead. Okay. Through the center. Pull it through. Okay, so now we have every Okay, so now we can just lift this up slide these beads forward and then slide this one, okay? And just make sure that they're in like that and I'm going to take this and put it on the gripper and put this one on the gripper okay it's nice and tight I'm gonna grab this side just slide your finger oops slide your finger and then flip it over put it through the center and then grab it from under, just like that you don't want it to be twisted as you're, oops, excuse me, as you're weaving it. You don't want it to be twisted. You don't want it to be twisted. Okay, so I'm going to put this back on the, on the mug. Sorry about that. My arm in the way. Okay, and now I'm going to grab this side and do the same thing. Slide it through my fingers, flip it over, put it through the center and then grab it, okay? Now it's nice and tight. Let's set this on top. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm sliding it on top so that it kind of holds it a little bit tight here. And then I can start again. This one's gonna be really pretty. I like these spacer beads. I'm just gonna do a cut one more with you and then I'm gonna let you go on your own. So clear bead. Pink bead, okay, and then I'm going to leave it sit there, grab this other string and do the clear bead, or glass bead, whatever. It's real, it looks like glass, it's not clear, it looks like glass. And then the pink, okay, so you have both of them laying down there. I'm going to take the ends of this and just do it this way. Make it one step. That way we don't have to worry about the stuff sliding until we get it all on the... Okay, and so you put this through both of those just like this. Hold it tight with your in between your fingers so it doesn't come apart. Grab your spacer bead. And then pull it through. Okay, now you can lift up on these, slide these up, and then slide this one up as well. Okay, so at that point, I'm just going to go ahead and put it back on the gripper. I don't know what you call it, I'm just calling it a gripper. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to move this little cup, slide my finger all the way down to the end, flip it over like this, go through the center, use my other finger to flip it over, and then just pull it. Okay, and at this point, I'm going to go ahead and, and set my glass back on top, keep it in place. 
I'm going to grab this one, do the same thing. Then I want to go like this, flip it over like that, go through the center, grab it with the other hand or the other finger, pull it through. Okay. You still have time if there's a bunch of space in between to kind of push your beads up. Okay. So that's what we have. And I'm going to go ahead and set my glass right there. So it's kind of cool. See how pretty that is? I really like that a lot. Okay, now we just start over. Glass bead. Pink bead. I think I lied to you. I said I was going to only do it one more time. This is the last time, I promise. And then I'll let you finish all the other ones till the end. Glass one. It goes pretty fast now. Pink one. When you don't have to use your threader all the time, then it goes good. So then we have both of those on there. Now I'm just going to take the end. See how both of the beads are on there? Take the end, put it together, grab your threader, open it, put it through both of those strings, hold it between. where it's nice and tight. Grab you a spacer bead and I'm going to put this threader through one side and pull it all the way through. Just got to be a little gentle. It just depends on how big your hole is in the center. I just so happen to have a big hole. Um, so then you can lift up on these, bring these forward, and then slide this one up as well. Okay. Keep it nice and tight or taut. Put it through your little grippers. Okay. And I just make sure it's nice and tight. I'm going to go like this all the way down. Flip it over like that. Put it through the center. Use my finger to flip it under and then grab it. Okay. Then I'm going to just make everything nice and tight, put that back on top, grab the other side, do the same thing, go through this way, and then flip it over like that, grab the other side, put it in the center, and then pull it tight. Okay, if any of this has loosened, this is your time where you can hold these two strings and push up. Okay, and let's see, that's what we do. Then we're just going to put this back on to hold it there. And then you start back over with the beads. Okay, I'm going to let you finish this one and I'll meet you back at the end to finish it off. And you'll need a two jump rings and a uh, clasp unless you have another alternate way that you want to close it off. I'm just going to close it off that way. Okay, so... I think everybody's going to have their own way of closing it, but like I said, I, I like the um, the lobster claws for this. I just think it, it does make it look nicer. So I'm going to go off camera. You figure out the size of your wrist and how far you want to come down, and I'll meet you back when I get mine done. So I finished. This is the last one I'm going to do because it's pretty well filled. Make sure you have anything, any beads you want to fix or anything done before we get to the very end, okay? Get it exactly how you want it. Then I'm just gonna hold these two together, pull this whole thing up, just like that. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to tie it in a knot, okay? and get it as close to the bead as you can. Make sure you get all the strands to come all the way through. Hopefully I did that, yep. And then just get it as close to the bead as you can get it, okay? You don't need to make it super tight just yet, but um, mine's not close enough to the bead, so I'm gonna loosen it up a bit. 
and then try to pull it up a little bit bring it a little bit closer to the bead if possible okay that's about as good as I'm going to get I think that's okay because these beads started sliding up underneath that wrap okay so just like this okay so that's what we have and I think it's very pretty I like how the tighter weave it just makes it gives it a nice it lays nicely um, this one is the tiara and this one <laughs> this one kind of looks like bunny ears like a bunny rabbit I don't know I just thought the colors were pretty and I thought the bead was pretty and I didn't notice till I got part of the way down that it actually did look like bunnies but it's really pretty anyhow so at this point um, we can we'll use this side and we'll put a um, what we'll do is we'll get this jump ring and you're just going to bring it apart just a smidge like that okay and then what you can do is just put it on the end here you can either put it on the end here or you could actually attach it to this knot and then fray the ends you know spread them apart and I'm just gonna leave it this like that and I'm gonna actually you know what I'm gonna use this uh, lobster claw so I have this going through and here's the claw so once I got it through, I've got to put this on to it. Let's see if I can get it on there. This is a very, it's kind of hard only because this is a very um, thick, see how thick that jump brick is? And how thin the um, little, I may not be able, I may have to get it. Let me grab a new uh, lobster claw. Because some of the lobster claws are um, have a much smaller hole. Let's just see if that's what the problem is here. So I'm going to grab this one and let's just see if it'll work with this one. Well, I'm just having a time, aren't I? It's just not going to work for me, is it? Oh, come on now, people. Okay, well, it's too thick. All right, I'm going to go off camera and find one that does fit. They, they're not all the same size, so that's my mistake. So I'll be right okay. back. So I found one that fits. Just take it and you put it along just like that. Then you're going to close up the end. Just like that, okay? So there you have the end. On this side, there's no easy way to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap it up on, or grab a bunch of bands up underneath this knot and just attach it that way. Um, let me just see. Just go up underneath a bunch of the bands. Kind of like how I did there. Okay. And then I'm just going to close it off. Oops. And then I'm just going to hide that little part up underneath so it doesn't look yucky okay so now I have that on there now I, I do realize it's, it's laying like that instead of sideways but you'll have to play around with it to get get it to to lay the way you want it if you don't want it to lay straight up and down and you want to lay it more sideways then you need to 
put it, take it out and put it around some other bands. Okay, I'm just going to leave it for the time being, okay? Because then all we have to do is do this number. Okay, just like that. Okay, and so I'm going to unclasp it first. And at this point, I'm just going to cut these strands straight across just to give it a little bit of a of a wisp. You can make some shorter than others, but I'm just going to take these and just separate them. That way you have all these like that. You can make some longer, shorter, whatever. I'm just going to leave them. And basically, that's what we have here. Okay? Oops. So, this is the tiara. Depending on the beads you use, it can look more like a tiara or whatever. It kind of looks like hearts, too. But... I kind of like the name, so we're going to go with it. This is a variation to my Lily Strand. Um, I'll do a tutorial on that as well, but um, to get this type of look, this is how you do it. And for the Lily Strand, you, you do it a little bit looser, and you have different amounts of strands that you're using, and it may be beaded slightly different. So I'm just going to use this as another design because it does look a lot different than the Lily Strand. But it's super similar. Um, but it's just the tiara bracelet, a strand band bracelet. And um, hopefully you'll give me a follow on um, Instagram as Artisan Loom and on my Facebook as Artisan Loom Bead Queen. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I look forward to sharing my other creations with you. All right. For now, take care. Bye.